Today I'll show you how to fast forward time when you're writing tests in DevTools. I'll also show you how to call any Linux command from your test contract. This is called Foreign Function Interface, FFI. These two features are possible by calling functions deployed at a specific address, and this contract is called HEBM. This contract is only deployed to the blockchain that DevTools spins up when we run a test. So it is not a contract that is deployed onto any testnet or to the mainnet. It's only available when we run the test inside DevTools. These are the functions that you can call on HEBM. Functions to fast forward time. Functions to write and read from any part of the storage. Functions to sign using a private key and a function to compute an address from a private key. And lastly, the function to call any Linux command. In this video, I'll show you how to call warp, roll, and FFI. The first thing that we'll do is define a function named setup. This is a function that will be called on every test. And inside this function, we'll set HEBM to this specific address. This is where the contract will always be deployed. Next, let's write the test to warp to future. Fast forwarding block dot timestamp. Before we fast forward time, we'll store the current block.timestamp in a variable. So I'll say uint start is equal to block.timestamp. And then to fast forward the timestamp, we will need to call hebm.warp. And then passing in the new timestamp that we want to fast forward to. For example, we can say current block.timestamp plus for example, we'll set the timestamp to one year from now. So we'll say 365 times 24 times 3,600. Once we fast forward the time, let's check that it has indeed fast forwarded timestamp. So we'll say assert greater than the current timestamp should be greater than the timestamp before we called warp. We'll run this test by opening the terminal, and then typing dap test. We only execute this test, so we'll type dash m for match. Test warp to future. And our test passed. So calling hebm.warp, you can fast forward block that timestamp. Instead of fast forwarding the timestamp, if you wanted to fast forward the block height, then you can call hebm.roll and then passing in the new block height that you want to fast forward to. For example, we can say block.number plus 3000. Before we call roll, we'll store the current block number in a variable by saying uint start is equal to block dot number, call hebm.row, and then we'll assert greater than that the current block number is greater than start, the block number before we called hebm.row. We'll test this function by again opening the terminal and then calling that test dash m test row. And again, we pass the test. For the last example, we'll test foreign function interface. How to call any command on your computer from a smart contract. This is a feature only available inside DevTools when you're running a test. For this example, I've created a shell script called test FFI, which we will call from the smart contract. What this script does is print some strings. To execute FFI on HEBM, we'll type hebm.ffi and inside here, we'll pass in a string of commands, which we will define. The command will be an array of strings, so we'll say string bracket memory. I'll name it commands is equal to new string brackets. And we will initialize this array to have a length of two. The first command to type will be bash. And then the second command to type will be, we're executing this script called testffi.sh. So we'll say testffi.sh. When we call this function hebm.ffi, it returns output of bytes. 
So we will assign the output to say bytes memory output is equal to hebm.ffi passing in the commands. Let's execute this test. Back inside my terminal, I'll type dap test match. The function that we're going to be testing is test ffi. Then when you're executing ffi from hebm, you need to pass in a specific flag called dash dash ffi. If you do not do this, the test will fail. Notice two things here. One, it printed out the message that we had in our bash script. And two, the test failed. The test failed because when we execute the script, we have to return the output in ABI encoded data. So that is why you see this command over here. It returns the ABI encoded data of these smiley faces. Now the test is failing because we're printing out something that is not ABI encoded, specifically this message over here. So if you comment this line out, then the test will pass. So I'll comment this line out, and then we'll run the test again. Inside the terminal, we will execute the same command again. And the test passes. So that was an example of how to use HEBM to fast forward time. And also an example of how to call any command from within your smart contract by using FFI.